Is it time to buy or sell quantum computing stock? In this video, we will explore the intricacies of quantum computing. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, the 22nd of January, 2025, and now we're here to offer you an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest insights. You don't want to miss any important updates that could affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for anyone among 45,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be interpreted as financial advice. Since the 8th of January, 2025, our system has classified quantum computing as a cell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 2.55. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. Interestingly, the stock has outperformed our system's predictions, showing a gain of 12.01%. This results in an average return of 1.33% per day since it was designated as a cell candidate. The stock is currently positioned in the lower segment of a broad and robust upward trend in the short term, which often indicates a favorable buying opportunity. Should the lower trend floor at $8.19 be breached, it would first signal a deceleration in the rate of increase and may also serve as an early alert for a potential trend reversal. The present three-month trend indicates a possible change of 112.72% over the upcoming three months, with anticipated returns ranging from 56.97% to 504.20%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it forecasts a change of 51.56% over the next 12 months, with potential returns varying from negative 60.70% to 260.94%. This suggests a price range between $4.36 and $40.06 and $40 after one year. Our latest daily update for quantum computing includes the headline, Volatile Ride for Quantum Computing Incorporated Stock Price on Wednesday, moving between $10.91 and $12.47. The Quantum Computing Incorporated Stock Price fell by 3.39% on the last day, Wednesday, the 22nd of January, 2025, from $11.49 to $11.10. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 14.30%, reaching a low of $10.91 and a high of $12.47. The price has fallen in seven of the last 10 days and is down by 38.64% during this period. Volume also declined on the last day alongside the stock, which is actually a positive sign as volume typically follows the stock. On the last day, the trading volume decreased by 11 million shares, with a total of 32 million shares traded, amounting to approximately 358 million $580,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price reached was $27.15, while the lowest price was $0.35.5. Cents. Currently, the price is 59.12% or $16.05 below the 52-week high of $27.15, which also represents the all-time high for the stock. Recent developments surrounding Quantum Computing, Incorporated or QUBT, could have significant implications for its stock price. On the 21st of January, 2025, Pomerantz Law Firm announced an investigation into claims on behalf of QUBT investors, signaling concern over the company's practices that could lead to legal challenges. This kind of scrutiny often generates negative sentiment and could put downward pressure on the stock in the short term. Moreover, an earlier report by Capybara Research raised serious allegations against QUBT, including overstating its relationship with NASA and misrepresenting its operational capabilities. Such claims, if substantiated, could not only damage the company's reputation, but also trigger a potential sell-off among investors, leading to further depreciation of the stock. In contrast, there are positive indicators in the quantum computing sector that may create a balance in sentiment. The surge in investor interest towards artificial intelligence stocks last year reflects a robust market appetite for technology featuring quantum capabilities. This backdrop places QBT within a potentially lucrative growth sector, highlighted by its efforts to blend hardware and software for comprehensive solutions. While short-term challenges regarding legal investigations could weigh on QUBT's stock, its long-term prospects may remain attractive 
if the company successfully navigates these issues and capitalizes on market demand for innovative technologies. Thus, the immediate outlook may be volatile, but the longer view could still present significant investment opportunities for those willing to weather the initial storm. Analyst Ratings On Monday, the 15th of April, 2024, it was reported that Ascendiant assigned a buy grade to QUBT while maintaining a hold action. Analysts have assigned a general sell rating to quantum computing stock. They categorize the price-to-earnings ratio as a strong sell and the price-to-book ratio as a buy. Regarding return on investment, the analysts also rate the stock with a strong sell. The following signals have been identified for quantum computing. Today, there are mixed signals in the stock market. Quantum Computing Incorporated currently shows a buy signal based on the short-term moving average. However, the long-term average indicates a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is positioned above the short-term average, this creates an overall negative outlook for the stock. If the stock experiences further gains, it will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $12.28. Conversely, if the stock declines, it will find support from the short-term average at $9.83. A breakthrough above the long-term average would trigger an additional buy signal, while a drop below the short-term average would result in an added sell signal, reinforcing the prevailing negative trend. A sell signal was generated from a pivot top point on Wednesday, December 18, 2024, and since then, the stock has decreased by 56.78%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Additionally, there is a current sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. During the last trading day, volume decreased alongside the price, which mitigates the overall risk as volume typically aligns with price movements. Here are some additional signals that may interest you. Moving average convergence divergence indicates a sell signal. Pivots, a sell signal was noted 22 days ago. Bollinger Bands, a buy signal was observed 65 days ago. Short-term moving average, a buy signal was generated 6 days ago. Long-term moving average, a sell signal was indicated 10 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages, a buy signal was noted 6 days ago. Upon reviewing the 12-month chart, we observe. Short moving average, a sell signal was recorded 10 days ago. The long-term moving average, a buy signal, was noted 77 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages, a buy signal was observed 79 days ago. For more signals, please visit our page at stockinvest.us. Let's discuss support, risk, and stop loss regarding quantum computing. Quantum Computing Inc. is finding support from accumulated volume at $11.08. This level may present a buying opportunity, as an upward reaction is anticipated when this support is tested. The stock exhibits significant daily movement, indicating high volatility, and with a notably large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, it is categorized as very high risk. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated by $1.56 between its highest and lowest points, representing a 14.3% movement. For the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 20.72%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for quantum computing, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, we need to discuss the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This important measure compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. A negative PE ratio indicates that the company has negative earnings or is operating at a loss. Even well-established companies can face downturns, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P.E. ratios may suggest insufficient profit and raise concerns about potential bankruptcy risks. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 31st of March, 2025. Analysts' consensus estimates stand at negative 5 cents per share. It is important to monitor these figures closely as they can significantly influence stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for quantum computing. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for quantum computing is at $11.49. If you do not own any shares, it may be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this could serve as a point to consider for swing trading. On the downside, quantum computing faces its first support level at $11.08. 
If this support level holds steady, it could present a favorable entry point, anticipating a potential rebound. The most recent insider trade for this stock is older than three months. The latest trade occurred on the 4th of October, 2024, when Weimar Carl Scott executed an insider purchase of 100,000 shares of options to acquire common stock. We currently hold a negative evaluation for this stock, and there is no stop loss in place. Is quantum computing stock a good buy? Quantum Computing Incorporated exhibits several negative indicators, leading us to believe that its performance will remain weak over the next few days or weeks. Consequently, we maintain a negative assessment of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and price movements from the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Thursday, the 23rd of January, we anticipate Quantum Computing will open at approximately 39 cents, starting the trading session at around $11.49. We remind you that trading carries a significant risk of financial loss. It is advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. Your investment choices should not be solely based on the information from stockinvest.us. By utilizing this information, you accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.